G'day everyone, today I thought we'd take a look at this. This is a sew wall. You can find these in craft shops, in all kinds of artisan stores, sometimes at markets, and also at leather stores. It's a really interesting and useful tool for leather craft. Let's take a look. So, the speedy stitcher, sometimes known as a sew wall. These are fantastic, a great little piece of kit. They can be used for all sorts of things. Uh, when I used to be in the military, some guys used to have these. They can be used for repairing heavy sort of backpacks and stuff like that, or also tents and things. Uh, in the reenactment community, obviously we're around a lot of very heavy gear all the time and you just don't have access to things to repair it. So this is a fantastic item to have. They're very inexpensive. I think I paid about $10 for mine. You can pick them up from craft stores. You can pick them up from um, leather crafting stores and artisan shops, that kind of thing, at markets and online. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the, the speed stitcher or the sew wall. We have a needle at the front with a cap. There is a bobbin which is held in place with a pin. And then there's this end cap. Inside the end cap, we'll find spare needles and also a small tool that can be kept in there. So the first thing that we'll do, let's pretend that we've run out of thread on our bobbin or maybe we'll want to just change the color. We use the screwdriver to remove the pin like so and the bobbin should just drop out. Depending on where you are with your process, oops, We just use this tool, which is a bit of a wrench, I suppose, or a spanner. And we just undo that. And then we can withdraw the needle like so. You can then reload the bobbin or change the color. And all we need to do at that stage is just reinsert the pin and secure that. You'll find the thread is inserted through a small hole at the end of this case. Thread the needle, but leave the thread to one side. And you'll notice that this mechanism has a split in it. We wanna insert the needle then. Obviously just be careful of the, uh, the sharp point of the needle and we'll just pull our thread nice and tight. There we go. And then place on the cap like so. You don't want it to be so tight that um, you can't move the thread. And then you're pretty much all set to go. Make sure that everything's nice and tight. Make sure everything's not gonna fall off. I like to keep a nice clear workspace when I can. And there we go. All right. To use the, your uh, sew all, I'm gonna use a piece of scrap leather. And we'll just line up the holes there. For today's purposes, you can see a line of holes I've pre-punched, but obviously this could be just about anything really. And then all we're going to do is just insert the needle of our sew all through that needle, through that hole, and make sure it comes through the corresponding hole on the other side. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is withdraw the needle slightly and I should
grab the tag and I'm going to pull that all the way through. All right. I'm then going to withdraw the needle, making sure that I have enough thread to cover the length of my project. Sometimes on bigger projects you'll find that you need Sometimes on, on, on bigger projects, I don't even use a, a bobbin. I just go straight from the reel of the thread. Okay, we've come through on our next line of stitching. And again, you just, this can be a little bit fiddly. Now I'm gonna take the tag of the, um, the thread and I'm gonna pull that nice and tight. There we go. Now what you should see is that it's now holding the stitch in place. And then all you do is just repeat that process as you go through. So insert the needle, find the thread, pull a loop, insert the tag, Hold the tag, withdraw the needle. Insert the needle. Find the thread. Use the tag. Hold that nice and firm and withdraw. and just keep repeating that process. Insert the needle, make a loop, insert the tag, withdraw the needle, pull nice and tight. And there we go. Let's take a quick look. As you can see, we've got a really nice row of stitching, which is nice and tight. Absolutely perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. And there we go. So that's how easy it is to use a sew all. Once you've finished your row of stitching, I would normally back stitch one or two stitch lengths depends on where the stitch is I guess and how necessary that is once I've done that I just make a nice knot doesn't really matter which knot you're going to use in this case I use a waxed linen thread as a reference Pull that nice and tight. Cut that off. And then just use a lighter to bend that down. That's a really nice strong stitch. As you can see, I'm putting a bit of pressure on that. On the other side, just do the same. Just cut off the loose threads. and just use a lighter there we go and as I said it's nice and strong and that thread that stitching is not going anywhere so it's a really useful technique a fantastically useful tool to have and definitely something that I'll be keeping handy in my kit for when I go camping and that kind of thing. Totally useful for bushcraft and survival type scenarios too. Just so you have uh, the right gear and you can work with that. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video.